Pokemon Go fans, it is a beautiful day outside. I am here at the large park, and it seems that Team Rocket has uh, is planning a sort of a reunion uh, retreat uh, festival, so they're all gathering around. They are everywhere. Look, in fact, I've got two of them in front of me there. All those little purple, spinny, glitching-looking uh, looking, uh, cubes out there, that is all Team Rocket grunts they're taking over your stops they're stealing all of your supplies i just got finished with the big cluster I, that would have been a freaking great video but anyway out here putting a dent in my uh in my team rocket uh metal here uh so there you go i'm at uh 3150 team rocket grunts uh taken down i think that's including the uh the leaders as well uh just not uh giovanni he has his own metal so uh are y'all out here right now putting uh putting a dent in your uh metals uh there's a couple of new uh pokemon that uh that team rocket has taken over so uh, i've gotten a few of those right now uh so one of their new ones is giraffagig you can barely see the flames on that, but that is a shadow uh, giraffe gig. You can see it there in your uh, in your decks. Uh, Cubone is back. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have uh, a Lolan Sandshrew. I think I think he's a he's a new uh, shadow to the to the mix. I managed to get me a Machop, a Starly. Uh, there are a couple of uh, research tasks. Well, you have to purify uh, three of them, and you get a really cool reward. So, I had a couple of uh, Zubats I, uh, and a um, a Weedle, and I uh, I went and purified those. So, let's go ahead and jump in one of these uh, Team Rocket grunts here. I uh, managed to fight uh, find uh, uh, Cliff was out and about. So I battled Cliff, saw his uh, his new um, Pokemon. In fact, I think that's where uh, Giraffagig came from. Uh, he's got that out in the front. So this is uh, this is one we've been seeing, Cyndaquil. We've already seen Cyndaquil. But there is a uh, research... Oh, I, uh, a special research, so it's not a limit. I wanted to say limited, but it's not limited. Uh, you can take your time with it, uh, and eventually, yes, you. I uh, believe you will come across uh, Giovanni for this uh, this event. Uh, Giovanni has a brand new legendary behind him, and that is uh, Shadow Latias, one of those uh, airplane bird looking. Looking Pokemon, Latias. So, hopefully, we'll be able to burn through that research. You have four days uh, for the Grunt event, uh, but uh, the uh, special research you have that until uh, until you just feel like uh, getting it done. So, uh, you can see I'm making progress towards another super, uh, another rocket radar. Sorry, super rocket radars are for Giovanni. So, this is a weather boosted. 553 seems like it would be good but remember high cps uh if you watch my old videos uh there you go uh so let's see cyndaquil is caught all right 553 weather boosted oh that is no good you know what i have a task and i know it's it's oh my god it's start you're gonna use 3000 stardust to purify it and delete it yes i am um, uh, because apparently I had that, uh, that, uh, task for purifying, uh, three, and I don't remember what I got. So let's go ahead and jump in and grab this grunt. We're not going to do a whole bunch of grunts. I just want you to kind of see, uh, let's see. These waters are treacherous. We need, uh, we need a new cat back there. Like, come on, let's just give me somebody. Somebody, somebody, somebody. All right, so before they had... Okay, so it's same old Totodile. Okay, 
So we'll get a good mix of them in there, and I won't delete any until, uh, until I get back with y'all. And you can see Totodile really eats, uh, eats Mewtwo's lunch. I don't know what it is about Totodile, but he really does a good job on Mewtwo. Alright, so we're going to take this down. Mudkip. Oh, speaking of which, on the 10th of this month, we're getting our classic throwback uh, community day. And Mudkip, oh man, that was my very first community day that I actually took part in. I had no idea. I had been playing the game, and I never knew that there were community days. Nobody, nobody really, really communicated. And if you weren't on social media, and you weren't listening in with these chat groups, um, yeah, you, you just never know. I mean, I'm still coming across people that have been playing or casually play uh, that have never been to a community day. So somebody had dragged me along to it, and I was just like, what is the deal? I mean, I thought this was supposed to be, I mean, there were tons of people out. This was way before COVID. Um, I was like, there's tons of people out here. It's awesome. I'm like, what is the deal with just having Mudkip out here? I was like, I don't really want Mudkip. At the, at the time, I had no idea how awesome Mudkip and Swampert were to the game. Uh, but yeah, I was like, what is all of this? So I didn't catch very many of them. And I think I managed to get one shiny. And I was like, this is something else. I had no idea. And it wasn't until halfway through it. And these were only when they were three-hour calm days. Like like 30 minutes left. That's when somebody told me about the importance of a community day. Getting all of the candy in. And catching, uh, you know, catching really good IVs. I had no idea about IVs. And, and I was like, I don't take down gyms. I don't, uh, I, you know, I just would put myself in a gym if, if it was my color but no I didn't really start playing the game until like 2019 and um yeah I just wasn't really uh into the game like that and so he's coming back Swampert is uh Mudkip is coming back and you can bet that I will be out there in force trying to get as much candy uh, as I can, especially the XL candy, if you're level 40 or better. So there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and equip our super, uh, our super rocket, our rocket radar. Okay, and then uh, we'll skate along, and uh, I'll show you the battle with whoever I get. The uh, the team leaders uh, have a new uh, new set of uh, Pokemon, so. So, so long, shiny uh, shadow bag on. I wish I could have gotten you. Uh, so long, shiny shadow uh, Teddy Ursa. And I think it was Poliwhirl. I managed to get the shiny shadow Poliwhirl. Or oh, Poliwag. Poliwag. Poliwag, the baby one. Uh, so let's go ahead and claim this research here. Well, there's that. And this is uh, the Purify 3. Sneasel is a highly boosted uh shiny so good luck with uh with this quest this is purify three shadow uh pokemon and i'm not sure if it's just gonna be sneasel but uh good luck with the uh the shinies uh there uh so 854 is no good transfer that all right what i want to get to is uh this is the uh anytime you feel like it special research uh, so we're going to claim that. We'll start from the bottom. And let's see what kind of an encounter we come up with. Hello. Sometime soon. Sometime soon. I'm sure we'll get a... Breloom. Okay. All right. So we we get the Breloom. It's, I, it, I'm surprised it's not a uh, Shadow Breloom. I guess they, they want you to take down the grunts for uh, for uh, shadows. So, there you go. Breloom. I used to use the heck out of Breloom. Not going to use that one. Yeah, he's a really good against flying attackers. Uh, so, that was always my go-to. Uh, so... Okay, so I guess that was the... Uh, okay, they made it look like it was the uh, the big research. 
All right, so I can get claim your rewards. Okay, there's Professor Willow. Well done, Kid Eric. As much as I wish they'd give us a break, I know Team Go Rocket never rests. So neither can we. Okay, great. Uh, yep. I don't. I don't read well for myself, and I don't read well enough for you guys. Uh, catch five shadow Pokemon. I intend to. Make three ni nice curveball throws in a row. I intend to. Defeat five Team Go Rocket grunts. Well, that kind of... Mm, if you're going to catch five... Mm, that kind of made no sense. But, uh, okay. Guess what? We're going to do that. All right. Oh, and... Along with that, we're making some progress towards our masterwork research... Uh, so I had to defeat 30 Team Rocket grunts, uh, or Team Rocket members, so this couldn't happen at a better time. So there you go, and then that's where I'm going to get a Super Rocket Radar uh, to catch the Apex Ho-Oh. Actually, no, that's not to, that's to catch a Shiny Latios. Yes, we'll cover all of that when, that, when we get to that, re that bit of part of the research. So right now, I am, I'm going to head on down this road here. There are a lot of people having family reunions and picnics and stuff. So um, I'm just going to cruise on through here. So there it is. Oh, and, and, and if you see one of your, or if you have one that you like, let's see, let's go and, uh, Oh, darn, it has frustration. Oh, darn. Well, if you take your charge TM and go, are you sure you want to get rid of frustration? Booyah! Oh, yes, get on it. You have four days left. I've already done 61 of them, so I had a whole list uh, of, uh, of Pokemon or shadow Pokemon with frustration. If you want to get the easy way, um, well, which one of mine have frustration? Rather than go through the whole list, go over here, hit the little at button, and go frustration. Okay? Well, you don't, even, you don't even have to spell it all out. And there you go. Every Pokemon that you have in your inventory that has frustration will pop up on this list. And then you just go one uh, one by one. Okay, check out your... Now, with a shadow Pokemon, remember, it's 20% stronger. No matter what the shadow IVs are, it is 20% stronger than a hundo of its non-shadow form. Okay, so don't purify it if you, if you, you know, want to want to hang on to it and battle with it. It's 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 not going to be as good. A purified is still uh, less than a, than a, than a hundo of its non-purified form. So you get that the hundo of a non-pur non-purified non-shadow is fantastic. It's great and it's all well and good. If you're going up against one of of identical, so if my Mewtwo is battling your Mewtwo and I have a hundo Mewtwo and you do not have a hundo Mewtwo, my Mewtwo will kick your Mewtwo's ass. Now, if you're going with your Hundo Mewtwo against my Shadow Mewtwo, and doesn't matter what my IVs are, I'm going to be 20% stronger than your Hundo Mewtwo, and I will kick your ass. Okay? If you go ahead and purify your Shadow Mewtwo, and you go against my Hundo Mewtwo, non-Shadow version, I'll kick your ass. So it's kind of like, <coughs> yes, you'll turn your, your Shadow Mewtwo into a Hundo, but it still will not be as strong as a non-Shadow, non-purified Hundo. So there, I hope that clarifies things. It looks great. Hey, guess what? I've got a Hundo. I purified this thing, and I got a Hundo, okay? Um, all right, so let's go over purifying. Okay, 
I am not going to battle with this Q-bone, okay? Uh, so if I go ahead and purify it, okay, that those stats are read as follows. That is a 113, no, that's a 11210, okay? If I purify it, each one of those bars moves up two notches. So this will become a 31512. Okay? 31512. So it's not a hundo. It's not all that great. It's not going to be anything after I purify this thing. So let's go. Here we go. So this is what it looks like. This is what it does. Uh, do not purify your Pokemon if you plan on battling with them. If you want to get rid of them, or oh, hey, Cubone is my favorite Pokemon in the world. Okay, then go ahead and keep him. Have one purified, have one one shadow. I did that when I first started before anybody told me how this thing works. So there it is. So there he goes. Okay, you see how the stats bumped up another two notches. All right, so there it is. There he is. And uh, will I ever use him? Probably not. Never. So goodbye. He's deleted. So that's how that works. Uh, so there you go. Uh, so... I've drabbled on long enough. There you go. Team Rocket event going on in Pokemon Go. There you go. We have four days and eight hours to go. Uh, get in there. TM away your frustration. Uh, if you need some TMs, um, battling in raids are a good way to get them. Uh, battling in, uh, in PvP is a good way to get them. Battling with your your uh your your team leaders are a good way to get them uh you'll get them through gifts there's there's many ways to get them uh just when you get them just stock up on them stock up on them for when and if there's ever a team rocket event going on so there it is i got my rocket radar on let's go and tap it let's see if there's anybody there there we go all right so I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll up there and grab that, uh, that stop. You can see they don't last all day. So they're usually only there for 30 minutes and then they, uh, they go away. But then they'll uh, repopulate. Remember, every three hours you'll get a balloon in the sky. So if you cannot get out uh, or you just, you know, kind of want to lay back. It is a weekend. Hey, man, I got stuff I want to do. Uh, just every three uh, three hours, just tune in and uh, grab you a, uh, a a balloon. Okay, and they're pretty easy to take down. I'm sure everybody can uh, can do it. And uh, after you take uh, was it six of them down, then you'll get a you'll get a leader. So um, there you go. Nope, no good. I want that shiny. I want that shiny. So that's going to be it for this. I hope this was informative. Uh, get out there. Team Rocket is waiting for you. They're having, they're having picnics and parties. Uh, this is a good way to uh, sneak up on them and, uh, and knock them in the nickel seat. So, all right. I'll see y'all later. Kid Eric is back, and I'm out.